Hi, this is ASP.NET Core MVC. Learn and practice course. Today in this lesson, we will continue to work with the form and then we submit the data to the server. When we get the data from server, we do some the handling for the valid data. Okay, let's get started. Let me open Visual Studio. This is the home controller and contact form we have learned in the previous lesson. Before I continue to do some modification for this form, let me run the form first, go to the debug, and click on Start with Down Debugging. It will open up the browser. You click on the contact on the menu navigation. It will direct you to the contact page here. On the contact page, we have some the few ID, name, email, phone, address, and note, which we have only complete in the previous session. And go ahead to click on the career button here, and then it will display the validation message in red color. That means you have to fill all of the data into the form in order to submit the form to the server. So now, let me try to fill the data into this form to make it correct. And then after you complete the form here, you can go ahead to click on career button. In the previous lesson, after we submit the data successfully to the server, it will return the data in JSON value here. So now, today in this lesson, in this appreciate the JSON data, we will handle how to display the message after we send the valid data to the server. Okay, so now let me close the browser first and then we back to the home controller. In the home controller, you take a look into the contact action result where we receive the HTTP port from the client side after we submit the data. You take a look more detail in the circle here. The first one is the validation data from the form data. And then if the data we get from the submit form is valid, so we will return the data with the JSON format. Today, in this of return the JSON format, I will return another message. That means for now, I will comment out this one. And then I will have the return redirect direct to action. So here, after I submit the form, I will return the user back to the contact form. So here in the redirect to action, I will provide the action name is contact. Copy it here. And here I will have the message template data. I will have the name will be the message. It will be equal the thank you for your query. We will contact you shortly. And here contact and it will return to the Action result in contact with the view. So now let's open the contact view. Let me copy the template first. Open the contact. And in the contact, I will have to declare a variable here. It will be the var message will be equal to the data. And then I will uh, convert this data to a string. Okay. And uh, here we have, let me delete this one because we have double the title contact and contact here. And then um, I will display some of the message. You will have if string those in or empty. 
So here, I will check that if the message here is not null. So I will display the message to the client. Okay, so I will have the div. I will have a paragraph message or something like this. Okay, hello. Let me move the div into the query here. And div here, I will have a class. It will be the alert. And succeed. Alert success here. This is some the default class from the bootstrap. Let me run the website. Click on the contact menu. Enter the value here. Click on the create button to submit the data. And then after you submit, you can see that we have thank you message. Thank you for the query. We will contact you solely. Okay, so that means for now you are able to handle the message after we submit the valid data. Okay, cool. So here, if we try to submit it again with the form e invalid, so in this uh, displaying the uh, success message, so it will be display the warning message in red color. Let me try to fill another form here. So let's have some time for break and we will continue to learn other lesson in the next time. Bye-bye.